for you coupled in the coupled them pull those down the king of cups is a water sign male and the queen of swords is a fire sign female so this could be you if you're a fire sign female looking back into perhaps an old relationship with um I'm going to switch that and say singles an old relationship with a past partner and reconsidering if you still want to have them be in your life maybe he this person the water sign and it could be water sign sun moon or rising um, approached you and you're like I'm sorry buddy uh that era was over a long time ago, so it could have been a little bit of a shock to hear from this person, and you're, you were just not feeling it. I'm going to keep going. I'll talk about couples, too. So with the Emperor singles, you're like, you know what you deserve, <laughs> and this guy wasn't giving it to you, and... You weren't willing to accept his crap anymore because you've moved on in a big way, Leo. And yeah, very firm with the emperor in, in knowing what you deserve and not willing to give this, this water sign a second chance. And yeah, you know in your heart that you want something more passionate and... Somebody who gets things done and doesn't so much reside in the emotional realm so much, um, but is out and about in the world like you like to be, Leo. And it being a deep knowing and feeling like, like you're just automatically guided to this, this fire energy. Fire likes fire, and when two fires come together... You can make a roaring fire. Um, so for couples, let me backtrack here. Maybe there ha was a situation in your relationship, Leo, that you were feeling that you weren't seeing completely on the same page like you were trying to see the other person's point of view, but in your heart, you're like, no, it's just not, it's just not, it's just not resonating for you in the way that they would want you to receive that information. And um, I <laughs> saw you taking the sword and sort of cutting up their emotionalism. Um, not not taking their not being willing to take their emotional outbursts is what I'm getting and you standing firm in and maybe being a little harsh with them too when they're seeking emotional support from you and you just don't want to hear it anymore like get your stuff together Mr. King and because you have you're wanting within your relationship for you guys to create this together. And both of you need to be coming from a solid, um, emotionally stable point, place from your individual lives to be able to come together and pool your resources to create the kingdom that you know you can have and his emotional outbursts. It could be a female, um, has been a little distracting from that. And you're coming at it with some fervor from an inner knowing, again, that belly aching and the hissy fits and the crying, not that there's anything wrong with crying when you need a good emotional cry, then cry. Um, but I see this sort of as a whiny energy. It's coming up as a whiny energy. That you're just not going to entertain this other person in your life in that way anymore. You don't have time for it. Like, there's 
better, more awesome things to be putting your attention on. So let's move into February. The Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Star. The World. The Tower. There's that Eclipse energy, Leo. And the Page of Swords. Okay. We can take a look here. So Leo, feeling like moving into the February energies, that the world has so much to offer you and you're not going to, you're going to unleash your passion again into the world. And no matter what it takes, even if, even if that's going to be upsetting to some people, and this is both for singles and, and Leos who are coupled, even if that's upsetting to the current people that are in your life, whether that be a current current partner or anybody to do with your love relationships, it's going to feel like it's shaking the, the emotional foundation. Um, but it's crumbling because the foundation maybe initially wasn't built on solid ground. So these emotional upsets and you reaching for some higher goals in the month of February and creating the life that you know, like you only live once. Like that's sort of the mentality is and, and just going for it and wanting to embrace the feeling of freedom in your life and how that, how these inspirations perhaps in the material realm, you're getting new ideas that are outside of where you have been and your current relationships. And there's going to be some changes, some, some transformations for sure in the month of February. With the Page of Swords on the star, this is an Aquarian energy and this is an air energy of a younger male, maybe again, feeling like people are, be protective about what you share with people about your new endeavors or your new dreams, like, make sure that you're not sharing it with the negative Nancy's or uh, people who you know, intuitively that wouldn't automatically give you this passionate support that somebody who's starting a new endeavor would need because when a seed when a little seedling breaks out of the seed casing when it's still in the ground in the soil and starting to burst through the the topsoil, it's in a very delicate state and it's been germinating and preparing for this moment to arise and show itself to the world. And it can feel like a very vulnerable place to be when you're offering something that you believe in and a creativity, like a creative force out into the world, whatever that be in a project. Um, and so the, I'm seeing the advice here being other people's opinions are not your business. Just keep it to yourself <laughs> while you nourish and nurture the little seedling that you're putting out into the world. And I think it has something to do with the Ten of Pentacles up here coming out of, of the Emperor. Like you, you want to be the person who's in control of their life and the passion feeding it and living by your passion. And that that's a very... When you come from that place, Leo, you're so bubbly and happy and 
you rule the fifth house in the astrological zodiac, which is all about creativity and fun and play and love. So where can you infuse more of that lighthearted playfulness in your relationships and protecting your new ideas and your new projects and endeavors from the people who intuitively, again, know that would want to pick it apart. Like you don't need somebody standing on the edge of your creation telling you what's wrong with it when you're just trying to get it out into the world and you know it's the start of something big and it's going to be a progression and an evolution. So leave it alone, people. I've got it. I've, I'm working on it. That type of mentality. So let's move into moving out. Yeah, so you're, you're not willing to even entertain the negative Nancys in your life anymore. And, okay, so you have the Five of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Divine Lovers. I don't think I said, but I'm using the Smithwaite Tarot deck, the Centennial Edition. One of my favorite decks. So the Three of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So perhaps this Tower energy in February, Leo, is going to turn on its head the way that you've been approaching relationships with the Nine of Pentacles, you, you may be merging your resources with, with somebody new that has recently entered your life and perhaps somebody who's new but you have felt like there is no doubt in your mind that this person is the one for you and they've come back into your life. Um, perhaps an old soulmate energy even though they're new in this lifetime. And I know I said you only live once, but I actually don't believe that. Um, but I won't get into that now. So let's talk about this. The Five of Wands with the Three of Wands, both in reverse. So again, I'm picking up here that your new laid plans on these projects and endeavors, you're not going to fight about them anymore. You're just going to just going to do it and get it done. And the pettiness and the going around and around with other people about what you're up to, you're going to put that to rest and not entertain those conversations anymore. And when you do that, it's going to free up your energy to focus. Here, if you're single, um, Leo, focus your energy more on this equal giving and taking, or giving and receiving, I, sh I should say, in these divine love partnerships, and not feeling like you have to do it alone anymore, because this person that's re-entering your life, and I think it's if you're single, it's it's somebody different than this water person that was trying to, to. I love that Divine Lovers card. So don't be paralyzed by um, feeling like you have to take all of the steps in the relationship immediately. Just go slow and take the time and the romance within this relationship to get to know one another and share yourselves from a very open and honest and loving place without your guard up so much. And that's how this energy can arise for you. I'm going to pull a card, Leo, from the Alana Fairchild Wild Kuan Yin Oracle deck. I'll show you the book. for a little extra message to see whether they're 
information it wants to talk about. Hold on to me. <laughs> they are having a ball. Again, this, this reminds me of the Leo playful energy, how you just want to get out into the world and, and spread your joy without being criticized or encumbered or looked down upon in any way. You just want to be unabashedly you, Leo, and be recognized for that. So it's number 30, and I will read you the little blurb. In your prayers, I have heard your heart asking, can this journey move a little quicker? Are there things that could be happening now instead of later? So I respond to you, and your pace is about to quicken. You'll be on the same path, moving towards the same destination, but with my help, your process will be accelerated. It may get a little bumpy with this increase in speed, so put your energy and focus into our connection as I help carry you forward. For now, that will be all that is needed for circumstances in your life to get moving at an adventurous pace. Yeah, and it's funny, she's right on top of the tower. This is where I said it might get bumpy um, towards the middle of uh, the month, the middle of February, Leo. So call on Wild Kuan Yin to assist you in your journey throughout February and into March. And she will be there to hold your hand when you reach out, but you have to ask for help. And I know Leo's, you're a very independent sign and it's not necessarily in your immediate nature to ask for help, but it's okay. Just not from these people who are going to make you feel judged. Um, perhaps help with from other fire signs that get your energy. 